Hey beauties, welcome to my Get Ready With Me festival edition. <laughs> so I've been at the festival in, where am I? Palm Springs. I'm with NYX Cosmetics. We're having an amazing time. I came out here for a shoot. I've spoken about it a bit on my Instagram and SnapFam. You'll know the deal by now. So um, yeah, it's been a crazy trip so far. And today is day three of the festival. And the past couple of days I've been like snapping and Instagramming. And I've got inundated with requests from you beauties to do a tutorial on my festival look. So I thought I would do it today. So don't mind me, I'm just in my hotel room. It is a mess. It looks like a bomb's gone off, like a glitter bomb, clothes bomb, makeup everywhere. And I'm just drinking beer. How cute is this pajama top by the way? It's like a pajama top and shorts. I'll link it in the description. It's just like from Okay, let's do this. So first of all, I'm using this isn't going to be like some kind of professional tutorial with all of like the cutaways with it like looking all pretty. I'm just going to literally do my makeup. I'm going to squeeze. Point my face. This is the. I love this foundation. This foundation has been so good on this trip. This is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea water based foundation. It's probably why it's suitable for this trip because it's not like. It's light, but it's still full coverage. So. Just, it's just occurred to me that this camera monitor is not going to be good enough for me to see myself in. Where's my mirror? Okay, I've got my mirror. Um, I'm just going to use the, is this the buffing brush by Real Techniques? Yeah. I'm just going to buff that in. So, so far it's been amazing. Yesterday, I literally cried so many times watching Lady Gaga. She was incredible. I, I'm obsessed with her, she's so talented, like her songs, she writes, she plays piano, she dances, she's, she's just a legend really. And today is Kendrick Lamar, so that should be pretty cool. Now I'm going to use the Studio Skin 24 Hour Waterproof Concealer, I mean, that's a mouthful, by Smashbox. Um, this is a really nice concealer actually, oh, might be a bit too dark, it's not really giving me the contrast that I want. I haven't used this one yet. I didn't use this yesterday. I used the Maybelline Fit Me concealer yesterday, but it wasn't within reach. So <laughs> we can deal with this. We can deal with this. The Laura Mercier powder will lighten it up. So I don't always do this. This is festival makeup. We want it to last all day. So I'm cream contouring too just for that extra sleigh base. Sleigh base, that should be a product name. I should bring out a product. I should bring out a contour kit called sleigh base. Sleigh base. How big is this beer by the way? <laughs> so I'm just gonna blend this all in. But yeah, be sure to watch my vlog on this trip because that'll be so fun. And I'm just using, oh, I didn't tell you what, um, what's it called? Contour stick I used. It was the Match Master Concealer in 8.5 by MAC. There you go. And now I'm using just a beauty blender and some Laura Mercier powder to set. This is really important for festival makeup, like translucent powder, because otherwise you'll be greasy, sweaty, uh, your makeup will like melt off, especially in this heat as well. My view is so pretty from my room. <laughs> the mountains, like we're in the valley, obviously, and it's um, oh, so pretty here. By the way, guys, if you don't follow me on my other socials, be sure to follow me like on Snapchat and Instagram. I'm always talking to you guys and my Snapchat's open quite a lot of the time, so I'm always like snapping you back. Um, and I keep it quite interactive, so. I've got my translucent powder on, and I'm just gonna use the Perfect Filter palette by NYX. It's the shadow palette. I think that's everything. The O2, Rustic Antique. Hopefully, hopefully I got that right. 
I'm gonna put like this orange shade in the crease. By the way, festival makeup is like, does not have to be perfect. It's all about just being very free. I think it's important to have a good strong base, but when it comes to eyes and glitter, it's a bit like cray cray. Just whack it all on. And then I'm gonna use like this dark cranberry shade. It's just these two at the moment. Just using that on the outer corners and buffing it in, put it underneath. The brush that I'm using is Dose of Colours eyeshadow brush. I'm just going to use this gold shade from the NYX palette to just kind of put on my lid. But I will be putting like some highlight and glitter on there anyway. That's nice. The eyeshadow is kind of done for now. I'm using the NYX No Filter Sans filter, oh no filter, that's just obviously a translation, uh, finishing powder and I'm just going to kind of use this to buff in and around the areas that I've baked and just dust away the translucent. I'm just going to warm up my face with the MAC Dark Deepest, um, what is this, skin finish powder, this is just warming up, it's not really contouring, just kind of like making myself look more tanned basically. This is all pre-brows, I've not done brows yet. Now I'm going to use my little hula, little diddy one, so cute, by Benefit. This is a good contour powder because it's like got no orange in it. So it's good for creating shadows and shade in the areas that you want to contour. And I'm using my Pixie Miriam McQuillage, McQuillage? Sorry Miriam, I don't know how to pronounce your surname, but it's a pretty sick brush, it's amazing. It's the contour and highlight brush, I, th I believe. The Strobe and Sculpt brush, love it. This is a festival, remember? It's not a wedding, it's not a party, it's not an everyday occurrence, it's a festival. So you can go to town on that contour. You can go crazy, you can, let's not hold back, okay? Well, I'm not about that holding back life. Now I'm going to use the NYX um, Chromatic Illuminating Powder. So this is in Crushed Bloom. I absolutely love this. It's so nice as like a blush, but it's like a highlighter. You'll see. This is what I've been wearing anyway, as a blusher. Oh. So it gives you the pinky glow, but also a little bit of highlight at the same time. Then, right, this is a really cool trick coming up. Could I have been any more heavy handed then? Okay, so I'm using the NYX Matte Finish um, Spray for the long lasting makeup. So I'm using that, but I, where's my little brush? Okay, I'm gonna use this end of the Pixie brush, the strobing side. This is a sculpt, this is a strobe. So, amazing trick. And also this highlighting palette, highlighter palette, is incredible. It's the Strobe of Genius Illuminating Palette by NYX as well. And I have to admit, like, it's got all of these shades, but I just kind of do a bit of that. Is that really offensive? <laughs> oh, I used the wrong blooming end of my brush. So what I do is I do a spray of this um, setting spray down one side of the face, and then the highlight kind of clings so much more and the pigment just really gathers together to create like the most popping highlight you've ever seen. So I went ahead and literally highlighted the hell out of my face. <laughs> this highlight is amazing but um, now I'm going to use the Amazonian Clay Waterproof Brow Mousse by Tarte with my Dose of Colours um, Winged Liner Brush. This is so precise this little brush, I love it. So I'm quite basic with my brows. I literally just do this, like create the shape, fill them in, and then I use the Benefit. I use Precisely My Brow by Benefit quite a lot, which is a really, really good um, eyebrow pencil. Um, but this 
yeah this works a treat as well then I literally just brush them out it's quite a basic routine isn't it so yeah so I'm just gonna get into my tear ducts with the highlighter palette that I've used like all over my face <laughs> using like the lightest ones just to really brighten up those areas and also here just to really brighten it up actually I'm just gonna do a few like freckles on my nose because I've done that every day so it's a bit untrue to my festival routine if I don't include it my full um, faux freckle tutorial is um, it's a few posts back I'm trying to think I'll link it in the description anyway but basically I dip my spoolie into my eyebrow mousse and do some random little dots now I'm just going to be using the Provoc um, eyeliner well it's a semi permanent gel liner so you can use this on your lips and your eyes and this is in the shade breathtaking it's like a blue and I'm going to put this in my waterline Okay, so now I'm just going to do like a wing with the NYX Epic Ink Liner, my favourite liquid lie line, liner. And then I'm going to do like a line towards the tail of my brow. Just join that. Nothing too crazy. So my wing got a little bit more crazy off camera. <laughs> but I'm about to just put some mascara on before I put the lashes on. And this is the NYX Double Stacked Mascara. I'm just kind of like, just giving them a little coat, basically. So the lashes that I've got are um, Lily Lashes in Cans. Can or Cans, how'd you say it? Not sure. But um, the ones I was wearing yesterday was Monaco and they were beautiful but I've worn them for a couple of days now and I slept in them so they're all a bit skew with now so I'm just going to put these ones on so all we need to do now is glitter and lips this is so simple by the way um, I've got like it's like a glitter adhesive and I just use like the end of a eyeshadow brush, put some like gel on it, and do two um, upside down triangles from my eye. Oh, makes my eye water. Every day so far, well, the past two days, I've worn like different kind of glitters. Today, I fancy like switching it up a bit. I've got like these unicorn dreams one. So I'm going to use those by the Gypsy Shrine with maybe a bit of the gold that I used as well. Might just use a mixture of a few glitters. You can never go wrong with a few glitters. I just literally packed on the glitter to where I put the adhesive. Just to let you know, predominantly on these um, tiers is the Chunky Gold by the Gypsy Shrine. And then I'm going to use the G Unicorn Dreams. I can't get my words out, as per usual. Just kind of on the brow bone. And the I'm just going to put some in my tear ducts too, but I'm going to use lip gloss to adhere them because it made my eyes sting it's a little bit like strong glitter glue hello how um hold on are you doing a voiceover no i'm not actually speaking yeah i hate speaking Look who's just arrived! Hi! <laughs> it's Jenny! Oh my god, you look amazing! Oh thanks! Look at you! She thanks. literally looks goals. So that's what I need to look like in the space of about 10 minutes. 
At least my makeup's nearly done. Yeah. I might do a little like flowy number today. I've kind of gone a bit more like ratchet most of the days. <laughs> yeah, but it looks good. I just want to be ghetto, basically. <laughs> Should I put a face gem on? What are you gonna? Yeah, you're gonna have one of those. Yeah, I love it. Just like a little. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, I like that one. This is by the Gypsy Shrine. And this is like a face gem adhesive. So let's see how this looks. So that is like the face complete. My hair, oh, I, don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. But um, I'm gonna do the lips now in a little tutorial. Let me just let you know what the shades are that I'm gonna use. So for the lips, I'm using the NYX Lip Liner in Los Angeles, shade 30. The NYX Lip Lingerie in the shade 17 and then the lip suede in the shade 14. So this is pretty much my festival makeup done. I also used the lip of the day by NYX um, in the shade, what shade is this? Um, O2 Gem. And that was to create the like, the lip piercing illusion. I love that, it's like a rose goldy shade. But yeah, I am living for this makeup. It's pretty much the same that I've had it for the past two days. But, um, but yeah, I might take a darker lipstick to the festival with me, just purely to switch it up because obviously I've worn this up the whole weekend. But I am living for it and now I just need to choose my outfit and I'll be back to show you what I end up wearing and I might just bring you with me to show you a bit of the festival too. But I hope you enjoyed this get ready with me and be sure to subscribe, to like and comment and do everything with that. And follow me on Instagram because there's lots more sleigh pics on there from this trip. So yeah, be sure to go and follow that and my Snapchat. Oh my goodness, how much is this just like a social plug? <laughs> anyway, shameless as always. Love you lots and until next time. Bye. Mwah.